20 Incredible Things to Know About the Royal Family The British royal family is one of the oldest royal families in the world. They've been able to stay relevant and maintain their legacy for more than 200 centuries. The British monarchy is one of the most closely followed monarchical systems in the world, followed closely by Britons and many others around the world. With that said, it should not be surprising to you to know that the royal family is not without its fair share of controversies. In this video, we share some fascinating and controversial facts about the royal family that are sure to interest you. Number 20. The Royal Family's Windsor Name The official family name of the royal family is Windsor. The family name was changed as a result of anti-German feelings during the First World War and the name Windsor was adopted after the castle of the same name. The House of Windsor came into being in 1917 by a proclamation of King George V, replacing the historic name of Saxe Coburg Gotha. It remains the family name of the current royal family. Number 19. Prince William Could Be King Since the death of the Queen, a lot has changed in the line of succession. The death of the Queen led to the emergence of King Charles as the King of England. Before the death of the Queen, Prince William was two spots away from the crown, behind his father, King Charles. Now, he's next in line meaning that Prince William will eventually become the King of England. King Charles has said that he plans to rule until death, as his mother Queen Elizabeth II did, so it's unknown exactly when we'll see Prince William take the throne. Number 18. The Controversial Partying Past Life of Prince Harry Prince Harry is the second born of the late Princess Diana. He's currently fifth in the line of succession for the British throne, which almost certainly affected some of his lifestyle choices. Prince Harry was once known as the partying prince. He made headlines for his partying ways many times. Nobody would typically bat an eye at someone in their late teens or early 20s partying, but when it's someone as high profile as Prince Harry, the public tends to take notice of every little indiscretion and misstep. The added scrutiny is not something the royal family tends to invite as it puts their reputation in question. Some believe his antics early on in life were a cry for help or a way for him to deal with the pressures of living his life in the spotlight. Currently, Prince Harry's married to Meghan Markle and a few years ago the two decided to step back from their royal duties, opting instead to live a more private life in the USA. Number 17. Power Struggles there are so many brutal stories about people vying for the power a crown provides. History is full of them. The British royal family is no exception. One such incident was the Battle of Bosworth Field in 1480. The armies of King Richard III and his rival claimant to the throne, Henry Tudor, the Earl of Richmond, clashed. Richard died in battle and Henry became King Henry VII of England ending the Middle Ages in England and beginning the Tudor dynasty. Number 16. King Charles' Bribery Scandal The royal family is typically expected to stay politically neutral as a constitutional monarchy. However, before King Charles was king, he was caught meddling in political issues and accepting bribes. For example, the cash and bag scandal claims that he accepted 3 million euros for his charities from a billionaire Qatari sheik, although there's no suggestion of any illegality or that Charles offered anything in return for the generous donations. Critics said it raised serious concerns about King Charles' personal judgment, especially given Qatar's record on human rights. Number 15. The Exiled Prince John Prince John, also known as the Exiled Prince, is the fifth and final child of King George and Queen Mary. He was born on the 12th of July, and at the time of his birth, his father was the heir apparent to the throne. Prince John was diagnosed with epilepsy at the age of four, and was eventually sent away from the palace to Sandringham House, where his governess looked after him until his death at the age of 13, following a severe seizure. John's seclusion has subsequently been brought forward as evidence of inhumanity by the royal family. However, John, for most of his life, had the role of a fully-fledged member of the family and was not removed from the line of succession. Number 14. Edward VIII's Questionable Relationship 
Edward took the throne in 1936 and later abdicated the throne that same year to his younger brother. His almost year-long rule earned him the record of shortest-serving monarch in the history of the royal family. Edward VIII abdicated the throne because of his relationship with Wallace Simpson, an American socialite with two divorces under her belt. In order for Edward to be with his true love, Wallace Simpson, he had to abdicate the throne. The two eventually got married and stayed together for the rest of their lives. Edward VIII's questionable relationships don't stop there. A few months after the couple got married, they went on a tour of Nazi Germany, which fed rumors that he was a Nazi sympathizer. Number 13. The Human Alarm Clock The king or queen of England can do away with their alarm clocks because once they take the throne, they'll never need one again. This special alarm system was put in place by Queen Victoria in 1843. Since then, the head of the royal family's always been woken up by bagpipes. Scottish and Irish regents play bagpipes to wake up the queen or king every morning at 9 a.m. The players play for 15 minutes, so we're guessing there's no snooze button. Number 12. Charles and Diana's Infidelity Charles and Diana's relationship was plagued by infidelity from the very beginning. Charles and Camilla continued their affair throughout the marriage, and Princess Diana even famously referred to Camilla as the third person in their marriage. Their relationship was one of the major scandals that rocked the royal family in the 90s. The pair eventually separated in 1992 and finalized their divorce in 1996. Number 11. Princess Diana threw herself down the stairs while pregnant. In Diana, her true story, Princess Diana chronicles an incident that took place in 1982 while she was pregnant with Prince William and while she was experiencing episodes of self-harm. She says she threw herself down the stairs because she was so desperate for someone to listen to her and understand what she was going through. She said Charles felt she was lying about her whole mental health struggle and dismissed her. She says the queen came out absolutely horrified and shaking from fear. Unfortunately, the cry for help did not have the desired effects, as when Charles learned about the incident, he just carried on and didn't give it a second thought. Number 10. Princess Diana's Leaked Conversation The marriage of Prince Charles and Princess Diana was plagued with controversy from the very beginning. One of the many scandals that emerged was Squidgygate. The transcript of a call between Princess Diana and her best friend James Gilby was leaked to the public. In the transcripts, he repeatedly referred to Princess Diana by several pet names, one of which was Squidgy, hence the media referring to the scandal as Squidgygate. The authenticity of the transcript was confirmed by Diana, who also said that there was nothing inappropriate with the conversation that she had with her best friend. Number 9. Diana's BBC Interview Princess Diana agreed to do an interview with BBC's Martin Bashir in 1995. Diana opened up about her experiences with the royal family, her struggles with mental health, and the infidelity in her marriage to Prince Charles. The interview caused significant damage to the royal family at the time. However, years later, the BBC has faced scrutiny for the methods Martin Bashir used to obtain the interview. Number 8. Tampon Gate Another controversial phone call that was leaked to the public was a call between King Charles, who was a prince at the time, and Camilla Parker Bowles in 1993. It confirmed to the public that Charles was not entirely faithful to Diana during their marriage. This particular scandal, dubbed Tampon Gate, was named because at one point in the conversation, Charles suggests he wants to be reincarnated as a tampon so he could live inside Camilla's trousers. The call was recorded in 1989, when Charles and Diana were still married. The two separated in 1992. Number 7. George, Duke of Kent Prince George was the fourth son of King George V and Queen Mary. He was never expected to be king, so he opted to join the Royal Navy in 1920 and worked for the government. 
In 1934, he became the Duke of Kent. He's believed to have fathered several illegitimate children and is said to have had several affairs with both men and women. Apparently, cocaine addiction and frequenting drug-fueled parties were reportedly all in a day's work for Prince George. He died in an air crash at the age of 39 when the RAF Short Sunderland flying boat in which he was traveling to Iceland veered off course and crashed at full speed into a hillside. Number 6. Sarah Ferguson's Affair with John Bryan Sarah Ferguson married the second-born son of Queen Elizabeth, Prince Andrew, in 1986. After her marriage to Prince Andrew, she became the Duchess of York. Little did she realize that her newly attained royal status came with many responsibilities and limitations. After 10 years of marriage and two children, Sarah Ferguson filed for divorce. She said in a recent interview that she was excluded by the family after the divorce and suffered years of media hell. One of the scandals she was involved in was her alleged affair with Texas millionaire John Bryan. A photo was leaked of him sucking her toes while the two were on vacation. She was blamed for her marriage problems until recently when it came out that she and Prince Andrew spent very little time together in the first few years of their marriage. Number 5. Fergie's Bribery Scandal Sarah Ferguson's scandals don't end with toe-sucking. She was also accused of having been paid money for information about her ex-husband, Prince Andrew, by a journalist posing as a businessman. A video of the exchange was published in British tabloids, which Fergie later confirmed and apologized for. I very deeply regret the situation and the embarrassment caused. It's true that my financial situation is under stress. However, that's no excuse for a serious lapse in judgment, and I'm very sorry that it's happened. I can confirm that the Duke of York was not aware of or involved in any of the discussions that occurred. I am sincerely sorry for my actions. The Duke has made a significant contribution to his business role over the last 10 years and has always acted with complete integrity. Number 4. Queen Victoria and Prince Albert's Relationship Queen Victoria and Prince Albert met when Queen Victoria was 18. They were first cousins, sharing a set of grandparents. Queen Victoria's mother and Prince Albert's father were brother and sister. Queen Victoria had resisted all attempts to force her into wedlock, and so it was clear that her marriage to Prince Albert was born out of love rather than duty. It's often said that the royal family usually practices inbreeding. That is, members of the royal family sleep with each other to reproduce their kind. This is done to retain their bloodline. The same could be said about Queen Victoria and Prince Albert. They met when Queen Victoria was 18, Prince Albert was her uncle, and the two got along with each other to establish a perfect bond relationship. However, she soon ascended the throne and because it was forbidden to propose to the reigning monarch, she had to propose to Prince Albert. The two got married despite being related. They went ahead to have nine children. Number 3. Nerissa and Catherine Bowes Lyon Nerissa and Catherine Bowes Lyon were first cousins of Queen Elizabeth II and Princess Margaret. Initial reports that the two girls had died in 1940 and 1961 were found to be untrue. Instead, both were placed in the Royal Eastwood Hospital for Mentally Disabled People in 1941. The hospital was the first institution established specifically for those with developmental disabilities. Both women were said to be nonverbal with a mental age of six. It's believed the royal family tried to cover up the girl's existence. Number two, Prince Anne's divorce and remarriage. There were a series of divorces that plagued the royal family's picture-perfect image in the 90s, including Queen Elizabeth's children, Prince Andrew's divorce from Sarah Ferguson, King Charles' divorce from Princess Diana, and Princess Anne's divorce from Mark Phillips, and subsequent remarriage to Timothy Lawrence. She's the only daughter of Queen Elizabeth II and married Captain Mark Phillips in 1973. After years trapped in a lackluster marriage, the two divorced in 1992. 
Princess Anne soon began seeing a British naval officer named Timothy Lawrence, to whom she's still married. Number 1. Prince Andrew and Jeffrey Epstein Jeffrey Epstein was an American financier who was arrested in July of 2019 on charges of sex trafficking and conspiracy to engage in sex trafficking. He died from an apparent suicide in jail while awaiting trial. Among Epstein's known connections are former President Bill Clinton, filmmaker Woody Allen, and Prince Andrew, Duke of York. According to The Guardian, the pair's relationship goes back to the early 1990s. In fact, Virginia Roberts Jufri claims she was forced to have sex with him as well. Prince Andrew continues to deny the rumors, saying he had no idea Epstein was involved in sex trafficking. Those were just a few of the interesting and controversial facts about the British royal family. There are so many more we just didn't have time to mention. We hope you enjoyed the video. Please share your thoughts in the comments below and give us a like and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this.